2010 Camara, and I am super duper excited about this thing because let me let me tell you, some folks come in and they say, "I'm cool just replacing my speakers, maybe adding a sub." Not this guy. I did a car for him about 12 years ago. Huge, huge deal for him. And it was one of the biggest systems we'd ever done at that time. He came back in and said, man, I want to outdo that. Let me tell you, once the Brainiacs got in, you know, I did a part one of this where you saw the car as a shell. You remember Scott was holding up that speaker pod that was just a really just a piece of wood and some fiberglass at that point and i'm sure you're seeing a cutaway right now of the speaker pods in place they are incredible wrapped in factory carpet we put jail c3 coaxes in the front they sound incredible it's got great staging so what the coolest thing about this is when you when there's no limitation to somebody's ideas this is what happens we did two sets of component sets in the front which means we have a total of eight speakers front and back plus subs plus 2,500 watts with a max power of 5,000 watts. Now, check this out, Jerry. This is the new Camaro kit. The Camaro comes with arguably not the most wonderful radio to look at. It's very kind of vintage looking, but it doesn't operate well to your hands. And so what it is is Metro built this kit, has soft touch buttons, all your factory AC controls still work just like they did, but you can put a nice radio. This is Alpine's new 7-inch called the 927. You saw it last month in the 370Z. It's one of my faves. has a built-in equalizer, has navigation, satellite radio, 3D nav. I mean, anything and everything from Bluetooth to Bluetooth audio, and it sounds remarkable. I did a sound bite just a second ago, and I'm sure you're, you may even heard it kind of distort some because this has so much power. My little bitty microphone can't do it. My big ears can do, so that's really the cool thing. All the factory steering wheel controls still work. Now, other than that sound bite, of course, that sounds fantastic. We took this car to the skin. I'm talking about to the metal. Dynamated the whole car to get the rattles out because guess what? This guy said, if I need to put luggage in my vehicle, I'll put it in the back seat. Let me show you why. Hey, Jerry, take a look at that. Now, this would be the minute you went shazam because this is serious, serious power. The amplifiers on the back of this amp, imagine getting all this in this car. Can I just tell you this is how big this opening is? This had to be assembled in the vehicle, right? You ready? This is over 2,000 watts in the back and an additional 1,200 watts max power in the front. Now, it bridged power. This does right up under 5,000 watts. These are JL's amplifier called Slash, and that's right. If you're a JL fan, they are black again. They have been silver forever. I love these special edition amplifiers. These are the newest. These are the third generations of W7s. The W7s will hold 2,000 to 3,000 watts a piece, and he has dose of them. We had to build the box out of three-quarter inch MDF and double seal it so it would stay together with the sound pressure this thing has. I didn't give you the sound bite of sound bites because this mic won't handle it. It will absolutely rattle your skull. And for those of you right now that are saying that makes no sense, it might not to you, but to him it does, and to me it really does. 